Hello viewers, welcome to this video. Right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Metal LB, which is a load balancing solution for bare metal in a kind Kubernetes cluster. So what is kind? Kind is a tool to provision Kubernetes cluster using Docker containers. I've done separate videos on Kind, I've done separate videos on Metal LB, but I haven't shown you how to deploy Metal LB and whether it actually works in a Kind provisioned Kubernetes cluster, all right? So I'm going to start downloading the Kind binary first. But before that, let me show you the two videos that I did on Metal LB and Kind. So if I search for Cube33, I think, yeah, Cube33 is about setting up Metal LB load balancing for bare metal in your Kubernetes cluster. And if I search for Cube43, okay, so that's the video I did about Kind. So two separate videos covering two, two of these topics, but now I want to do both in one video. Okay, first let me download Kind, Kind Kubernetes. Um, yeah, Kind Kubernetes in Docker releases. So the latest release is 0 0.9.0. .0. I can go down and download kind Linux AMD64. Copy the link address, wget. And if you happen to use Arch Linux, by the way, I'm using Arch Linux. There is a package in the Arch user repository that you can use. And I can show you that it's called kind bin. There we go, kind bin. And it's the same version as the one that you saw in the GitHub 0.9.0. .0. So if you're in Arch Linux or any other Arch based Linux like Majora, you can just install it from the Arch user repository. Or you can always download it from the GitHub releases page and then change mod and set the executable permission kind Linux AMD 64 and then move this to kind Linux AMD 64 move it to user local bin as kind okay so now I can do which kind kind version version 0 0.9.0 .0. okay so I'm going to create a cluster if I do kind create cluster it's going to create a single node cluster but I've got a configuration file that I'm going to use because I want a multi-node Kubernetes cluster but before that let me show you what I've got in my configuration get kind config.yaml it's basically these lines so I'm just specifying how many master nodes I need how many worker nodes I need okay kind get clusters I don't have anything at the moment so let's create one kind create cluster minus minus config okay so it's going to take a couple minutes I'm gonna pause the video and come back when it's done all right the command completed I can do kind get clusters there's one cluster kind get nodes we've got three nodes kubectl cluster info that's our cluster kubectl get nodes okay so all of them are ready let's take a look at the components in the cube system namespace cube controller manager is not ready yet and the scheduler let's wait for a few more seconds kubectl minus n cube system get all okay so our cluster is fully up and running now now let's try and deploy metal lb okay metal lb installation Basically, I'm going to use this method of installation installation by manifest. We've got three commands here. The first one is to create the namespace. Let's create that. So that has created the metal LB system namespace. kubectl get namespace. Yep, we have that metal LB system namespace. kubectl minus n metal LB system get all. At the moment, we don't have any resources in that namespace, but once we run this command, it's going to deploy lots of resources. Okay, cool. So a couple of port security policies, couple of service accounts, some cluster role, role bindings, and then a daemon set and a deployment. Okay, let's take a look. Cool. So, okay, so we have a controller, uh, which is a deployment with one replica, and we have three speakers, basically because we've got three nodes in our cluster, and it's a daemon set. So three replicas container is getting created okay okay so create container config error so that's not a problem because we need to be running this command as well kubectl create secret because all the parts expect the secret to be present and once you create the secret okay so that's done and if I list the parts now you can already see that one of the part is already running another one is also running okay let's give it a few more seconds 
Okay, so now we've got everything running. Okay, so the final step in using MetaLLB is to create the configuration. Okay, let's take a look how to configure that. Going into configuration, we're going to be using the layer 2 method for the MetaLLB. So basically, we need this configuration. We will be creating this as a config map, which the speaker component will then use. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to create a file called metal lb.yaml and then paste that so for the address range i'm going to choose an address range let me show you how um, in my case what the address range would be if i do kubectl get all sorry kubectl get nodes minus o wide you can see all my kubernetes nodes are having ip address 172.22.0.4.0.2.0.3 okay and if I look at the list of my interfaces, it's this interface, this bridge interface here, 172.22.0.1 slash 16. Let me copy that and I've got a tool called the zip calc. And if I paste that, it gives you what's the starting IP address, what's the ending IP address, and what's the number of networks that we can use and so on. So basically the usable IP address range is from 0.1 to 255.254. So I'm gonna pick a, a small portion of this IP range to be used in my Metal LB configuration. So let's pick uh, 255 dot. And in our configuration, let's use 172.22.255.1 to 172.22.255. Let's say 250. Okay, and let's create this kubectl create minus f temp metal lb dot yaml. So that's created. Cool. Kubectl get all. So that's all for the metal lb. So we've deployed metal lb. We've created the metal lb config map. Okay, so kubectl create. Let's create an nginx deployment and expose it as a, a service of type load balancer and see whether it assigns an IP address that we can then reach the uh, the nginx welcome page. kubectl create um, deploy nginx minus minus image is nginx kubectl get all okay container is getting created okay so that's running now let's expose that deployment kubectl expose deploy nginx so we are explore we are exposing the nginx deployment and we're just exposing the port 80 as type load balancer okay that's done kubectl get all there we go so our nginx service of type load balancer and it already has the external ip and it has assigned the first ip address of the ip address range that we specified in the metal lb cat temp metal lb dot yaml we specified uh, the ip address range to be this one so it started using our first ip address and let's also create another deployment kubectl create deploy nginx2 minus minus image nginx kubectl get all okay that's also running let's expose this now kubectl expose deploy nginx2 again we are specifying the type as load balancer kubectl get all there we go so that's our second nginx deployment exposed as service load balancer type and you can already see the external ip metal lb has assigned the second ip address from the range that we specified so now we should be able to access the nginx welcome page using these ip addresses okay copy that http okay so that's our welcome page that's working fine and if i go to 172.22.255.2 again that's also working fine so that's how you deploy metal lb so i think that's all i wanted to show you in this video and i'll see you all in my next video Bye bye